Now at 11, a chaotic chain of events leading to deadly force by police. But what possessed a promising college student celebrating her birthday to get so violently out of hand? As a father and as a person that loves people, you know, and loves Jesus Christ, it's going to be a hard to accept that something different could have been done. And new tonight, her father also trying to understand why his daughter had to die. That young woman was making plans for law school. Tonight, the investigation is just beginning after Miami Beach police say they were forced to shoot and kill her last night. CBS 4's Hank Tester working this story live on the beach. Hank. Well, some new video surfaced uh, late this afternoon, which graphically displays just exactly what went down in this neighborhood on Sunday afternoon and what caused a young woman to die right here in the streets of Miami Beach. But also a police officer almost died when she tried to run him down. Let's take a look. It took just seconds. Early Sunday evening, a young woman in a black BMW plows into a Miami Beach police officer. A second officer shoots the driver. The Beamer continues west on 12th Street. Halts. Beach police officers and fire rescue try and save her life. They can't. The officer, David Cajuso, knocked unconscious by the crash, transported to Jackson Memorial. He's released late Monday morning. Dead is 22-year-old Carrie Ann Hython on the beach celebrating a birthday. A recent college graduate from Bowie, Maryland, a witness describes the look on her face behind the wheel. Like stirring, uh, was very like, like uh, scary looking. I think she was on drugs or something. Reached in Maryland, her father tells CBS4. We had just had a conversation recently about the social Ill ills of our society and you know, and how she was gonna be a budding lawyer and attorney. And I always felt that she was going to do great things for our society and for our culture. It's terrible. I mean, you, 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 you can't help but have quite a bit of despair and anguish behind something like this because you don't understand how it could happen. Hi, my name is Karen Ann you know, She wanted to make a difference in our society and the lives of many people that weren't as fortunate as her. It's out of character what they're telling me, but, you know, I'm not there. I believe that something was going on um, and to say what it was, you know, maybe she did panic. Carrie Ann Hython was set to enter law school when she hit two cars and a truck on South Beach, then ran down Officer Curhuso. In slow motion, you see the officer being hit head on. The second unnamed officer opens fire, wounding Hython fatally. The injured officer on the pavement, Miami-Dade police per policy will investigate. Under Florida's fleeing felon law, police can open fire on someone suspected of committing a felony and who could pose a threat to the public. Just, just to protect themselves because the BMW is coming right at him which, and, and, and the BMW did hit him. Well, police investigators would be highly interested in the uh, medical examiner's toxicology report to see just exactly what ailed this young woman when uh, this accident occurred. That's the very latest. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News Tonight. Back to you.